Hi everyone, today's headlines. Russia suspended from human rights body, India abstains from voting. NSF and ENSF remind Snagland government on rationalization of SSA and RMSA teachers. Parliamentary Committee on Naga issue meeting on April 9. RPF seizes firearms from stations. Myanmar National Unity Government wants China against engagement with Jangtha. News in details. Russia suspended from human rights body. India abstains from voting. Russia was suspended from the UN Human Rights Council after the 193 member General Assembly on Thursday voted to adopt a resolution moved by the US that received 93 votes in favor and 58 abstention including by India. The resolution titled Suspension of the Rights of Membership of the Russian Federation in the Human Rights Council was adopted with 93 votes in favor, 24 against and 58 abstentions. Those abstaining included Bangladesh, Bhutan, Brazil, Egypt, Indonesia, Iraq, Malaysia, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Africa, Sri Lanka and UAE. India has abstained on the resolution with regard to suspension of the Russian Federation from the Human Rights Council adopted in the General Assembly today. We do so for reasons of both substance and process, India's permanent representative to the UN Ambassador T.S. Tirumurthy said in the explanation of vote after the voting. NSF and ENSF reminds Nagaland government on rationalization of SSA and RMSA teachers. Naga Students Federation and Eastern Naga Students Federation have reminded the government of Nagaland on streamlining and rationalization of Sarva Siksha Abhayan and Rashtriya Madhyamik Shiksha Abhayan, teachers of 2010 and 2013 batches, in a joint letter addressed to the Chief Secretary of the State. The student body stated that a joint agreement had been made with the state government regarding streamlining and rationalization of SSA and RMSA teachers of 2010 and 13, for which the government had assured through a notification on October 18, 2020 to solve the issue within 18 months. Parliamentary Committee on Naga Issue Meeting on April 9. A meeting of the Parliamentary Committee on Naga Political Issue will be held at 10 a.m. on Saturday, April 9 at Chief Minister Residential Complex State Banquet Hall in Koima. In a circular, the member secretary of parliamentary committee on Naga political issue, Neighbor Krono, has requested all the members of the panel, members of the 13th Nagaland Legislative Assembly, and the MPs of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha from the state to attend the meeting. RPF seizes firearms from station. The Railway Protection Force of Northeast Frontier Railway in separate incidents seized one AK-47 rifle along with a magazine from. Diogor Express at Lamding Station and two firearms, loaded with live ammunition from New Kochbehar Station. In an incident on April 5, a suspicious looking bag came to the notice of a joint team of RPF during their routine checking in train number 15625DN at Lamding Railway Station. An update from the railways informed. On interrogation, the owner of the bag revealed that the bag contained only a blanket. But on opening the bag, one AK-47 rifle along with a magazine was found. The seized arm and magazine was handed over to OC GRP Lamding, and the case was registered under the Arms Act. Myanmar's National Unity Government wants China against engagement with Janda. Myanmar National Unity Government has warned China's government that its engagement with the country's military junta could seriously damage Beijing's international reputation. This comes after China's Foreign Minister Wang Ye pledged Beijing's support for the military. The NUG issued the warning in a statement after Wang Ye met with Yuno Mang, the junta foreign minister, in Tangxi, East China's Anhui province, on April 1. The National Unity Government of Myanmar condemns in the strongest possible terms the use of title Minister of Foreign Affairs by Vuno Mang, who is an agent of the illegitimate military council formed by the Commander-in-Chief of Myanmar Armed Forces following a military coup perpetrated on February 1, 2021, the NUG Ministry of Foreign Affairs said in a statement. That's all for now. To get the latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.